What in the hell is going on, skin tubes? Tina DeCali here. And it is time for another episode of Random Bullshit with DeCali. Alright, so, first off, had an awesome birthday. Played cards, Texas Hold'em with Hero. And uh, some of the other guys. Got pretty fucked up. Got some cool stuff for uh, my birthday. Got a toolbox and some tools, some awesome spray paint art pictures. You guys uh, on Facebook might have saw them. It's Batman and Spider-Man. It's pretty awesome. Got a sick-ass pool cue for my pool table. So hell yeah. Um, <laughs> and I got some cash. So uh, I got some other, you know, stuff. But me and Hero, uh, we recorded a Decali inebriated, but um, my laptop kind of crashed and I lost a bunch of shit. So um, I'm kind of trying to rebuild my uh, video stuff back up. So pretty much failed on getting a Decali inebriated out. Holy shit, I said that fast. Um, <laughs> kind of failed on getting one out uh, over the last weekend and I don't have any thing for uh, this weekend for my pastorama so bear with me I am working on it so I uh, hope you guys enjoy this Assassin's Creed gameplay which is kind of lame all right so why don't we just jump into a little bit of gaming news so many developers are looking into the mobile space for future projects. So don't expect Uncharted and The Last of Us creator Naughty Dog to join. They basically don't think mobile development is in the future. And they don't think the industry as a whole should put all their eggs into one basket. But they um, basically said we need to diversify. We need indie games, mid-tier games, AAA games, and mobile. Next we have the Daisy creator Dean Rockahall. He has said that he plans to step down as the head of the popular open world survival game before the end of this year, and he's going to start a new uh, studio in New Zealand. He basically said, I'm really good at taking risks and making other people take risks. I've always been good at that in my life. Like you say, maybe I've got the gift of the gab. So I can talk. I can explain something. I can talk people up to the ledge and then get them to jump off of it. But eventually, that's a bad person to have. So at some point, I'll be a disaster for the project, at least in a leadership role. So Ubisoft Toronto boss Jade Raymond says the next Assassin's Creed title will not be set in Japan. She did, however, say that an Assassin's Creed title set in the Samurai Age of Japan would be an interesting idea all the same. So if it will not be set in Japan, during which time period will this year's Assassin's Creed game be set? Well, Raymond is keeping that to herself for now, but she has teased that the game setting is her favorite historical error. Alright, next we have Activision has announced that Call of Duty Elite will officially close this Friday, February 28th. The Call of Duty Elite service was designed to work with prior Call of Duty games like Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2, and has been winding down since late last year, Activision said. There are no plans to ever bring Call of Duty Elite back. So... That really sucks for uh, players of Call of Duty Elite. Next in the news, Nintendo announced overnight that as of May 20th, the company will end online functionality for a host of Wii, DS, and DSi games, including high-profile titles like Mario Kart Wii Super and Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Of course, you can still play the games in their offline mode, but you won't come May 20th be able to play online or access leaderboards. The online play for Wii U and 3DS games is unaffected. Other online functionality includes access to the Wii Shop channel, the Nintendo DSi shop, and video on demand services like Hulu and Netflix is also not affected. And last but not least, Sony has revealed the PlayStation Plus free games of March today through the official PlayStation blog. PlayStation 4 owners will have access to Dead Nation Apocalypse Edition, a revamped edition of the game previously released for PS3, including updated visuals and controls. PlayStation 3 owners will have access to Tomb Raider, Thomas Was Alone, Lone Survivor Director's Cut, 
and PlayStation Vita owners will be able to download Unit 13 Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. To that end, PlayStation Plus games from February will expire soon. Outlast, Metro, Last Light, Payday 2, or any other, other ones you might want to get on that. So, don't miss out on those deals if you have PlayStation Plus, 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 which I don't, which really sucks. That's basically it for me for the gaming news. In other news, uh, Dave Prowse, if you don't know who the hell Dave Prowse is, he is Darth Vader in the original Star Wars. You can uh, look up Dave Prowse on Facebook, but uh, he is having a knee surgery on May 13th, so he's actually going to miss like some Comic-Cons. I think there's one in France, um, one in Texas, and I'm not sure where the other one is. The other one's somewhere in, in the UK. Yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, Random Bullshit with Decali. Like I said, I am going to be working on getting some other videos out. So um, I hope you enjoy the <laughs> the Assassin's Creed gameplay, which for some reason I accidentally had it on Twitch. I don't know exactly who saw it, or if anybody saw it. I really don't know. It's the first time it's been on Twitch. I don't know if it did any good because my internet kind of sucks. So if it did suck, I apologize about that. Maybe I'll try a Twitch out uh, later on. You never know. So I thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you the next time, YouTube. Peace! So long, Carpenter!